What's up, my friends? It's your boy, Laugh. I'm looking cute, looking clean, looking sexy. And of course, we're back with another casual conversation. Of course, I'm joined with the host of the show, the one, the only legendary Duke of Debauchery, Mr. Casual Conversation himself. It's your local neighborhood scumbag. You already know. Here to give the folks our daily dose of dirt bag, same gimmick, different day. Here to have a com- casual conversation about everything from good old WrestleMania to um, the internet's favorite punching bag being released from uh, jail and uh, plenty of more things in between. And, and actually, that's for the second time, a little bit of wrestling. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of wrestling. There you go. Back to that was crazy. Head. I was like, I was like, every, I was like, where'd everybody go? Everybody left the room for a minute. Uh, it's good. Free stream said they're trying to pack us out. I feel you. We ain't yep. making y'all no money. I understand. You better watch out. <laughs> but we have a, we have, a, we have a, we gonna talk about wrestling. Let's get into wrestling first, of course. As y'all know, me have the tour have just a fan wrestling. Um. We will have a show, um, a quiz on um, with the Blair Boys, the GGC Mafia yeah. thing going on. So we're gonna have the and little quiz we, with them. So we'll be there on Friday. Week, I will next post week it. We'll get back to you with yeah. your results from WrestleMania I, weekend. And yeah, I know it's been two after. weeks, but I probably will be live on Saturday. Tor might join me on Sunday. He'll let me know. I was gonna say we'll figure it out. Yeah. So if you, we'll be here this week for you wrestling fans. I know y'all be like, "Hey, bro, what my wrestling?" Fiends, it. What you mean? Casual conversation. What you find? Technically, y'all did see us because we did put out a video last week, but it was pretty yeah. short. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say last Friday was my birthday, y'all, and I just wasn't gonna be uh, of the shape to talk wrestling at that current moment. Let's just be honest. It's me. Uh, let's break down these matches real quick, and then we will be joined by Unico Williams talking about everything going on in the internet. First up, we got Dominique Mysterio versus Rey Mysterio, a match that was perfectly built, I would think. They kept Rey away for a long time just because yeah. you couldn't have a year-long storyline, so you went to SmackDown. And then and it had the perfect accessories, too, <laughs> but I'm sure you'll, you'll, get, you'll get it. I mean, just we saw that. And, like, I love how when this all started, I don't think any of us were thinking that Rey versus Dominic was ever going to be some match that we were hyped about. But once starting, I guess, what, starting last year, the end of yet last year when Dom showed up for Christmas was like sort of the start of the little side vignettes that added so much to this. Yeah, that, that did a lot for him. And then they finally built it up. They built up this thing of, is Ray going to hit his son? Finally, like Bro, he did. the pop <laughs> when Ray finally hit Dom, that pop was fucking epic. Yeah, that that was a lot. By the way, shout out to WWE for getting a lot of pops later. They have been getting. But I want to say shout out to Dom for becoming such. Because bro, when he we didn't care about Dom this much when he was the tag team champion with his dad. Like bro, setting him out, putting him with Judgment Day. I don't know whose idea that was. I don't know who thought of that. Whether it was Triple H, whether it was Vince, but whoever did it, they saw the vision. And I mean. Dom has some of my favorite facials, Pauls, <laughs> in fucking wrestling today. True, bro. Behind, only behind Roman Reigns for me. <laughs> yeah, but Roman Reigns is like the I meme mean, guy. <laughs> he's in God mode, bro. He's he's been done told us this, even though it could be coming to an end. Yeah. So who do you got but, in the match, Dominic versus Rey Mysterio? Dom gotta go over, in my opinion, bro. Like Dom gotta go over. They'll put if if the. If the card plays out anything like it's looking, there will be plenty of babyface love. So the heel time could definitely be freaking Dom getting over on Ray. I do think Dom, and I think Damian Priest got to be a big part of it because he does not have a WrestleMania thing. <laughs> so he has, yeah. he has to have a moment to me. He has to have a moment in this match because he's the only one in Judgment Day that has nothing to do. That's crazy. I, I really didn't even think about that. You're he's right. He's a- with Dom because Rhea is – in some weird place by herself, and Fan is in some weird room doing talking about demons the whole time. So it's it just him and Dom hey, representing. Yeah, right now. it's gonna be epic. I, that's one match that I think people are sort of. I don't know why people don't want to see it, but I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah, so I think Dom too. I think Damian Priest gonna have a big part of it because he has to have a moment. I think. I also want to shout Karen Cross for cutting a promo to get me hyped for a battle royal that don't matter. Yeah, 
Oh, wait, let's not just say the Andre the Giant Battle Memorial doesn't matter. It hasn't been used as a less than um, amusing plot device a few times, yes. Do I still, I, I like the idea of it, though. If it was actual, because I, I mean, and I hate, look, if you know us, you know we love all wrestling, but there ain't no way that you're going to tell me, and I saw this on Twitter today, I saw somebody trying to compare the Andre the ba Giant Battle Memorial Trophy to the IGP to the IG Grand to the IG Grand Prix Trophy. Like, bruh, that is, you're not. That that's crazy. <laughs> and I love WWE. I was raised on WWE. But bruh, you're not gonna tell me the Andre that that Andre the Giant Trophy compares to the same trophy that freaking. Uh, Kota Ibushi has raised, Tanahashi has raised, freaking um, Tetsuya Naito, freaking um, Kazuchika Okada, freaking, um, I mean, come on, bro. The greatest of the great in Japan have wielded this trophy. The same can't be said for the Andre the Giant mm -hmm. Battle Mem Royal Memorial Trophy. Next up, we have Brian Strowman and Ricochet versus the Street Profits versus the Alpha Academy versus the Viking Raiders. Street Profits, Montez Ford has to have some super Omega frog splash just to get the hype. You know this. That's what it's. You know this. What the whole match built for? Some crazy. Can, can I be honest on who I want to win though? I want the Viking Raiders to win. I think they, they should. Have the, bro, when they think about, I will. I watched some random videos back in the day when they were in um WCCPW, what culture pro wrestling back in the day when they were still the War Raiders. Before they got well, they were still the War Raiders when they got the NXT too. I mean, until we got up to the main roster, and then War was too edgy for TV. Even though Raw spelled backwards was War, we played on it for decades. Raw was War, so why the War Raiders couldn't come up to Raw is beyond me. That's a pet peeve I'll always have with Vince. But um, I want them to win so bad. They're such a good tag team, and I know they've been tag champs before. But like Vince has some amazing tag teams in this tag division right now, and I just don't feel like a four-way tag match is the way to showcase any of them. It's going to be a spot fest. I just hope it's good and it makes people care about them. That's all I hope. I don't think it's going to do either of those things. Right. I don't think... Bro, That's no, why you got to have a Montez for a moment. No, think, but when there's eight bodies in the ring, Montez can have the craziest freaking um, frog splash in the world off the top through a table. But then 15 seconds later, someone else is going to be doing a crazy double team. Or maybe you get the big, maybe you get Ivar's giant, fat, balding, bearded ass to go up and hit. I've seen that nigga hit a fucking old school Brock Lesnar 450 before, I do believe. Not 450, the shooting star. That's what it is. I say, if I do a 450, that would break the internet. Yeah, that would be wild. <laughs> if Ivar hits a 450 splash, that would be crazy. Nah, I'm nah. in a shooting star press. Nah, so. I say, he a not a 450, bruh. Yeah, shout, out, shout out to Vikingo, though. Bruh, that, that inside rope step off 450 he hit on Kenny through the table since we haven't had a chance to talk wrestling in a couple weeks. How did you feel about – how did you – okay, this is casual conversation. So, of course, because I, I, I don't think I did get to ask you, how did you feel about Kenny Omega versus um, El Hio Del Vikingo? It was an amazing match. To me, it's probably third best Vikingo match. He had to do, do you, better. Listen, you, if you, do you watch think it was five stars, though? I don't and I, have if you do, of, if you do say, if you do say so, and I won't argue with you, I'm, I just really wanted to know. I'm out. It's almost, but it quite wasn't because it was a damn good match. It was. I'm not, I'm four point seven five time. for me. Four point seven five. I'm not on hater time. Like I like felt like it had no emotion though, because they were just doing spots. But so yeah, it was a spot fest. But it was really sure. cool to but watch. Bro. So four point seven five. So. But and one thing I wanted to take this time to give Kenny Omega some credit. He, I watched through that match, and there were a couple times where he slowed Vikingo down and sort of helped him. Is Kenny Omega suddenly getting good at in-ring psychology, kind of? Or maybe it's just – I don't I don't know what it is. Maybe he used to go going fast. He's like, you're going way too fast. <laughs> that, that's what I was thinking, bro. How fast do you have to be going if hey, Kenny Omega hey, is it, slowing it, I forgot the matches, but I'll I tell y'all next week on Friday. But Vikingo had two matches that were better, and they was – the same spot fest, but they was like insanely insane spot fest where he was just doing wild, crazy thing. But 
That was yeah. one of his best but, matches. Kenny uh, is always going to be a bro. He's had some sick matches with both of the Lucha Bros. He's had a crazy ass match with Ray Phoenix, and I believe he's had one with Pinto. But no, I just I wanted I wanted to see what you thought about it because freaking I saw Dave Meltzer had the nerve to say that shit was better than Ray Phoenix. I mean Ray Mysterio's debut on fucking WCW Nitro back in the day. Oh no, it like, bro, no. that's fucking crazy, bro. How, bro? But you know he loved. Kenny, so anything Kenny is. I know, but saying by (laughs) listen, I love, I love El Hijo del Vikingo. I am a fan. I think it's a tragedy the way AAA has his contract writ up to where he can't be on TV for anyone but them without, except without special permission. That's jazz. Stand and stand deliver might have that ladder match. This might be insane. Yeah, reach for the sky. With. Lee and all them dragon Lee. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I was I was thinking about Ring of Honor. Uh, that one might be crazy too. Them two ladder matches yeah. might go crazy. Wesley, um, Dragon Lee, Ilya, um, JD. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it, it, listen. All right, Zelme. I'm gonna listen. Who you got winning that match? This we ain't gonna do stuff. I, 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 I want I want um. Elia to win because I think yeah. if we're having Elia come stateside on one of the main brands, unless because they say that they want um, JD WWE been putting in that Europe work. to open soon, and he would be a great cornerstone to build a WD a WWE EU. I think Elia would be it, but man, Elia is the North American Championship would be fire. We already know he is literally one of the best wrestlers in NXT right now. Period. Dot. He's already had two classic matches with Walter. Him and like, JD I'm, in that JD in here too. JD McDonough, correct? Yeah, he in here. Okay, I like what, I, but I'm not gonna. Okay, Zelme. Wesley Pippen on because, because, because you talk so highly, and you've been honest when you feel like NXT misses. I'm gonna watch Stand and Deliver, but I, man, I hope it's good. I'm gonna watch Stand and Deliver. I know it's because it's just before Night One starts. Yeah, and freaking. It give me time to sit and get high. And... I don't know how good the other match is going to be. I'm just looking forward to that one. That one's going to well, be. Well, I've looked at the card. It's a it's good card. Interesting, it's an interesting looking card. Yeah. No doubt about it. I was kind of hoping for Soul Ruka to be in that ladder match with the women because I think um, she... do you think, well, I just do told Tori know what I want, Tori. That Soul Ruka, I want her to hard? go up that ladder and do, and do that twist. And I, why, why did you. I love Indy, but why did Indy win? <laughs> Indy should be up on the main roster. That's right what I was saying. Right Just send it to the main roster right before WrestleMania. Let her help um, damage control or something. That would be something cool. You know Indy and Bayley no, are not in religion. You got, no, you got to oh, – I mean, her and Bayley is cool, but, I mean, you got Candice LeRae up there now. Oh, yeah, you, you know got that I mean? too. That could be a nice tag team to add to that tag team division that don't have nothing. Exactly. And now so Ruka – Torres, so Ruka need to do that little spinning thing off top of the ladder. The world will break. <laughs> they open. Yeah. Why you didn't put that in a shot? Hey, do you think it was a shot at her that Vikingo hit one of those on Kenny Omega that looked a little bit cleaner than the one she hit on old girl? Or was that just Vikingo wilding out? Vikingo just he if it's a flip, Vikingo probably (laughs) He does it better than bruh. He just a flip dude. Okay, this is gonna sound like some hater shit, but I don't mean it as it bruh. Vikingo reminds me of like Dragon Gate Ricochet, bruh. Like that nigga's nasty. With the gymnastics. I still want that like, Vikingo versus <laughs> Ricochet match. Could you imagine Vikingo versus Ricochet? I'm sure AAA have that nigga in a 360 life contract, though. But could you imagine Vikingo versus Ricochet, bro? Oh, by imagine. the way, by the way, um, we're going to talk about this later on. EO Sky showed why she should be a solo act because her and Be- her and uh, Becky well, Match put damage, on. All of damage control should be a solo Dude, that was a bro. banger. <laughs> Bruh, that's all she does. We act like she wasn't the NXT Women's Champion. That's what I'm saying. That was a banger. Like, but she look, look, come on. Put on one on one. Yeah, we a Biggie. Shout out to Biggie. My guy, Biggie Boss. Yeah, shout Sky, out Biggie. Sky and Plug. Always showing love. Always showing love. Um, Let's get on because, like I said, we got to get a Joe's waiting. So let's try to. Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez versus Natalia and Shotzi versus Ronda and Shayna versus wow. Jesse Green and Sonya Deville. And by the way, the craziest thing you hear, because if you if you don't know no better, you'll be like, oh, these other team better. Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville are probably by far the best wrestlers. <laughs> Tandem. Tandem yeah. now. I'm not saying Shayna and Liv and Raquel. 
tandem wise, if you just let them wrestle and not do like a goofy gimmick, okay, they are amazing. I have a question though. Do you like do you like this tagging of Chelsea Green with Sonya more than Chelsea Green and Carmella? Yes, they, I, I, think I, they, I, th- I think they fit more because Sonya always complains. See, I, I feel I feel the opposite. I feel the opposite though. Like I like because Carmella. I don't oh, you talking about Chelsea Green and Carmella? Yeah, Chelsea oh, Green yeah. and Carmella, as opposed to Chelsea. But Green I think. And Sonya. I think. This, I mean, I, if you can, it was supposed to be Chelsea Green and Carmella, but I heard something well, happened I, and she I hurt. Think Sonya's kind of underrated as a wrestler. I mean, she took some time off, and she. I think Carmella's hurt because you remember they teamed a few weeks ago. Yeah, and we ain't seen Carmella was... since because I think they said I saw a report that said she was hurt. Oh, okay. So she was supposed to be with. Carmella and then with, the, uh, with Chelsea. Okay, I mean, yeah, with Chelsea. Yes, so, well, it's cool they're still giving, but once again, I hate that we keep on doing these. Hey, let's just shove all these tags. Why do but we they wanted Chelsea Green on the, they wanted Chelsea. I know, but you could have gave, bro. I tell me you wouldn't have went for Chelsea Green and Sonya versus Rhonda and freaking Shayna. Tell me that doesn't work. I I agree, but that you want it. Tell me, tell me that doesn't work because. But they want to live Green, on TV. Chelsea too, Green's kinda... complaining is going to take her into baby face. Them, she's going to be, she's going to be a heel, but it's going to be baby face heel <laughs> shit. Yeah, as but... long as she doesn't break her arm or anything what like she that. Tell, what she Chelsea, tell Adam Pearce, Chelsea Chelsea Green is fucking gold. Tell bro. what she tell like, Adam Pearce, don't mess me. <laughs> yeah, don't mess me. Like, bruh, well, she's, she's killing gold. this. Gimmick. She's killing this like, gimmick right now. Yeah. And so, like, she can get over. So, and Ronda, Shayna's amazing in the ring. Shayna's never been that great on promos, in my opinion. Ronda is not great in the ring and not great on promos, but she's super famous, has a name. Amazing shooter. She's a shooter. She's a shooter. But um, I'd much rather see that than, because once you, we just keep on doing these eight-man tags or these four different, bruh, it's just so many bodies in the ring. And he, it, and I heard Triple H just didn't want a lot of matches, so he just put a lot of people in the thing. Well, he, bro, he could have he could have just not done a lot, a lot of matches and had these matches run longer. Like how many, bruh, you've got two nights. But he, I think he's we're, doing we're it. talking about night one right now, correct? I don't know what night that is. I only, only know one. I only know two matches on night one, and it's... I, so there's still hope that the USO. We know USOs and Sammy and KO are on night one. Yeah, I mean, they should be the main event. I'm sorry, women who we know that, Johnson and Austin I, Theory I, starting. Yeah, and I love I love Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair, both of them, and I'm all for. I know. Uh, a I women, should put on a banger, women should main event, but if but I feel like the main event should be what's really drawing in numbers, and what's drawing in more numbers is it if you were to put a poll and ask whether you were going to WrestleMania to see either a Oscar versus Bianca Belair, I love both of them, B Charlotte versus Rhea Ripley, or C the Usos versus Sami Zayn and KO. I think the the majority of the people are going to pick C, wouldn't you think too? And and that's no disrespect to anybody. I'm just talking about popularity wise, spectacle wise, storyline wise. I think Bianca Oscar might is, open night too. And that would be that would or be the triple three or the triple threat in the kind of night. But either either or. But I hate the for some reason because and I'm not. I'm I'm putting away my inner misogynist, okay? As much as this may sound like it, this isn't my inner misogynist. I feel like we don't have, bruh, Sammy and Sammy and the Usos deserve to main event night one, bro. It's not for one second. It's not about gender. It's not about equality. It's about pure moment wise. They deserve to main event night one. They deserve that. And to everybody that said KO should have quit. They were left for AEW KO kind of. It's crazy. Everyone that said that immediately afterwards, he faced Stone Cold in fucking. <laughs> in the main event. <laughs> Come on. Did you see the you A&E special? You're going nowhere. Did you see the yeah. A&E, you see the A&E special? Bro, um, he, I just watched the one about Yokozuna. I'm, ta- I'm, I'm talking about the Yokozuna. WrestleMania 38 one. No, I have oh, I haven't. Can they the A- 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 just put a doc out on Yokozuna, bro. You should watch that shit. I do need Fire. to watch. I gotta watch a lot Fire. of them. I need to watch the Rivals Johnson and Dwayne. They sold me on the thing, yeah. but I ain't. But Kevin Owens about to cry before he went out. 
Triple H said, you deserve this, man. That man, like, I am bro. facing the dude I want to face. The, bro, he is facing, he was facing Stone Cold. Steel Steve Punk Austin was upset. Right? Said, and look, <laughs> think, at that same time, they were saying Sami Zayn should quit and leave AEW too. Look, he went on after that and put himself in arguably the greatest wrestling storyline of the last decade easy. Who got, like, bro. Who got to win that tag, match, by the way? Oh yeah, they, Lynn, no, wait, 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 yeah. Um, I guess, or I don't, because man, it depends on. Maybe this match will show us that Ronda's gotten better, because it does feel kind of weird that Ronda. Her last did, match was but, a lot better. Her last two matches yeah, was a lot it, better. It still wasn't good though. Maybe she can now. That's what I'm hoping, because she at least but tried. She's, but uh, but she's got Shayna Baszler with her, who is exquisite in ring. And I was hoping that maybe that translates some because you know Shayna had that transition too from legitimate MMA fighter to professional wrestler. But Ronda was better when she started, it, but it felt like she don't least, care. Look, the best we can say for Ronda is at least she's not Marina Shafir. Because <laughs> that is the worst transition from MMA fighter it, to freaking. It feel like Ronda. It feel like Ronda don't care right now. That's on the She doesn't, but Ronda's. Uh, Ronda's already rich. 2018, so it looked like she was trying. Now she's like, nah, I'm, I'm just you trying to get a chick. She, she, met the, she met the IWC, bro. <laughs> Next up, Intercontinental Championship with Gunther versus Sheamus versus Drew McIntyre. Probably the, maybe the match of the week. And it's a lot of yeah. good ones. It's a lot of good ones. Very oh, wait, really Supercard is this week on um, Friday, ain't it? I, yeah, super card, super card of honor is on Friday. Go <laughs> and this still might be the match. Gonna go head to head with SmackDown, which is so sad. For I'm, I'm gonna watch <laughs> Roman, both. Roman and Cody meet. <laughs> you think this yeah. is- oh, I'm not gonna watch both because we'll be doing the quiz show. But I'm gonna record both. So, but yeah, who you got in the match? I think Sheamus beats Drew. So Gunther does have to take a pin. I, I think Gunther should can. Continue his reign. I, I don't think, think he, he loses. loses. That's I think my he thing. Break, well, no, I think I think he keeps the belt though. I think you don't break this streak yet. Yeah, so but, that would be a heel winning, but I think I think they want to get yeah. Sheamus' his moment. But, to, but, and they but don't want to be going through, through is, you, wanna, you don't want to go too baby face heavy, and they've got they've got the potential to go really baby face heavy both nights, as you can as we'll be able to see. I'm, I'm gonna tell you too. I fin- don't think it's gonna be better. But I, I definitely think I think what you're saying is possible because what Sheamus is the one that's never won the IC title. Yep, before, he'd right? be a Grand Slam champion if he win the IC title. But man, this says a lot if Drew McIntyre has been designated to eating pins. He good enough. He, can he get was back a out. contender. He was contender just last year. But Gunther's also raised the. Standing of the Intercontinental Championship exponentially, bro. Since he's had it, he has done nothing but bring greatness to the title. Right. He's had banger after banger. He he survived the BS from Vince McMahon. He lost the weight like he told him to, so he didn't go out like Keith Lee. Freaking, I mean, oh, Gunther's oh, had oh. one of the best IC title runs I've seen in a long time. For real, for yeah. real. They try to get it's just kind of lame. It's just kind of lame. Once again. That we have to do it. I mean, I, don't get it wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love a triple threat between three of the hardest hitting wrestlers of the decade, easily. But man, part of me just thinks like Gunther's so freaking like perfect old school wrestler wise. I enjoy seeing Gunther in just regular matches, pinfall. I think freaking, you can Gunther on, versus Cody. On, I think this is why I think no. Gunther loses. Gunther versus Cody okay. at SummerSlam. That's what I think. Bruh, I've, I've I've seen a couple people say that, and if that's the case, like, he can Cody lose this if he's going. And to. that would be a ma- <laughs> bro. Gunther versus Cody would be, but that feels like Vince McMahon booking, like the rush, <laughs> the German Terror versus the American Nightmare. And it'll, but, it'll, Jim, but it'll work this time. Wow. But it'll work this time. But, bro, it's going to be fire. By the way, shout out to Pete Dunn. He said it's time. And he basically tells us saying everybody his name coming back. Well, good. I've been pr- – I wish they'd do this. It's still not – I still think Walter's better than Gunther, god damn it. But uh, I think it's too late for him. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> he, he I, got Gunther okay. over with in light of In light of us thinking that 
that Gunther, this could lead to Gunther versus Cody. I will agree. If if I had to pick someone other than Gunther, I think giving Sheamus his first IC title run would be fire. And it crack it just kind of it just kind of sucks that Drew McIntyre of all people has to eat the pin. Next up, Edge versus Finn Balor. I got Finn Balor win. Yeah, he's got to win, and he's got to he's got to enlist the help of the cameraman that cut the ropes the last time the demon was there. Shut up, that man. guy's got to help. Cause I think you're gonna have two cool interests, bro. Though. They Edge have some can't win this, bro. If Edge wins this, this is so for I'll be <laughs> shitty. Like if okay, if Edge wins this, then I'm agreeing with every the other part of the IWC community, and he should retire the demon persona because the demon persona used to be, bro. Think back to the black and gold days, freaking Finn Balor versus Tommaso Ciampa, Finn Balor versus Johnny Gargano, Finn Gat Balor versus Adam Cole. Even in those matches that he lost as the Demon, them shit was still amazing. But nine times out of ten, bro, if the Demon comes out, he's taking the dub. Except for in special cases, like when you're Roman Reigns and you pay somebody to <laughs> cut the top rope while he's going for the I shooting ground. You know what it made me even happy? If Roman just said, listen, I pay them and they work for me. everybody work for me. You remember he said at WrestleMania, the cameraman yeah. worked for me, he cut the rope. <laughs> listen, life and life, that's what happened. It would have been believable too, honestly. They would have actually made him look more like a mob boss. That he had cameraman to cut ropes, dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's next level. But I, I think no, you ever seen a hill do that before? That is some crazy. <laughs> hey, if, if, but if Finn loses this. If Finn loses this, then Vince might be back, though. Because Finn is a Triple H. He is, like, the one of the original Triple H guys. You got to think, he came in hot off of starting the Bullet Club and then went to NXT. You know what I mean? To be fair, Vince, the, did, Vince did put the booster pack on him when he first came up, and then he got yeah, hurt. And then, he, was, he was the first ever universal champion. And then he got and hurt the first night. And then, him, you know how Vince feels about people that get hurt? As Sasha but Banks. Seth Rollins, I, and I love Seth Rollins, but that damn buckle bomb. You know how Vince feels about people that get he got it. Sting, he got Sting and Finn Balor out of there at that point in time. What was that, 2015, 2016? Yeah, right but Vince did believe in him, but you know how he is once you get Yeah, ended. but I feel like... Samoa Finn, Joe has found the same thing. Once you get in it, Vince no, played. Nope. Finn, went, see, Finn even started that trend of going back to NXT and just becoming amazing all over again. That Gargano like, kick is still the coolest moment. <laughs> one cool. Like, but but think about how the, how kid. dope was the Prince run? Those matches he had with Karrion and Cross before he got fired the first time. The match he had with Samoa Joe, yeah. like, and and some of those were in the Thunderdome era, bro. Yeah. Were not they? Yeah. Next up, we got Becky Lynch leading Trish Driver. Demi Control got to win, right? Because this is- they have <laughs> they have to. Or what's the fucking point? Trish can turn and do whatever Yo, you can do. What if, it, what, what if Bailey starts wearing the short shorts to wrestle in, bro? I saw a nigga with a sign that said, I came to see Bailey's ass again. <laughs> like, I saw that sign in the crowd, bro. I saw it too. But who you got? This nigga I, said, I came to see Bailey's ass. Bro, Bailey. <laughs> and Bailey, that's who I got winning. God damn it. They should have been winning. Those are three of the best women in the company. Yeah. Unless you're, I almost, I almost thought about Tony Khan. I was saying, unless you're gonna bring out um, women's trios titles, that would be ridiculous. Please never do that. If you do, it's got to be for men. But you're, you're good. You got enough belts. You ain't gotta do like Tony Khan. Next up, Austin Theory versus John Cena. I think John Cena beats him and loses on Monday. I don't, bruh. Jack White. <laughs> Oh, you quit fan booking in my head, bro. <laughs> Woo! That would be sickening. If um, Jay White come and take the U.S. title off just seen it the first night, Kenny might not. Yeah. Kenny AEW people the, might be like, low this. The, 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 the King Switch era would be in full effect, bro. I'd be here for it. That, I'm here for Jay, wherever Jay White shows up. But, man, I, I almost – Cause I'm a big, bro. Austin Theory, low key, could be the future of wrestling. He's so damn good. He's only 24 years old. I mean, he's amazing in the, and outside the ring. He's getting better in his promos. I wish they'd let him switch his freaking. Fin- I don't know why he quit doing a taxia as his finisher, considering he's the only person that can do the move properly that I've seen. 
But that shit's so much better than the stupid A-Town down. I want Austin Theory to win. So I'm going to say Austin Theory gets the dub. Huge rub from John Cena. Next up. He's probably going to cheat to get it, though. Next up, Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul. Seth got to win because Logan Paul can't keep knocking out. I do yeah, it. Nick, oh, okay. yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> he he doesn't he, he knock my boy Seth out <laughs> twice. Seth got to get the dub on this. <laughs> I eventually <laughs> like that. Man, and, and, hey, and contract does, expired by the way. It, so Logan Paul can't go out with. Him. <laughs> no, okay. With with his with his contract expired, listen to this shit. What if what if Seth Rollins beats Logan? Logan leaves, goes to AEW, does a job to John Moxley, retires. He lost to the whole Shield and then, <laughs> then retired. And put and on think, and put on great matches with all of them. He put on bangers, but I don't know. It'd be hard for John Moxley though, because I don't think I don't think um, I don't think that Logan Paul's willing to bleed like <laughs> non hard way. If if Logan Paul gets hard way, I think he'd roll with it. But I don't think he's gonna go out there and blade. Don't get. I don't think he's getting juice. And that's damn near a deal breaker. Working with John Moxley. Bro, did you hear? They said John Moxley's getting juice at house shows, nigga. I saw it. Yeah, okay. I didn't know if the picture. Yo, with Photoshop and everything nowadays. Now they had a video. Dude took a- <laughs> okay, see, I haven't seen a video. I saw, I saw like some stills though, and I was like, my lord, Maybe. just come on. And we all saw the footage of Anna J and freaking Britt Baker. Like, god damn. Next up, we got Brock Lesnar, Omos. We know what this match is for Brock to they they four hundred and ten pounds. They trying to yeah. By the way, somehow they have made me a little care about this because I kind of do want to see this big gigantic dude do L five. I don't know how they keep they sell me on this. The, I don't know, bro. George, tell me you the crowd. You know the crowd gonna pop. When yes, I, <laughs> but I'm gonna pop when I see Brock Lesnar get L five on top, bro. Brock hit, hit, hit five with an Omos. <laughs> hit Omos with an F five. That's gonna be wild. Like it's gonna be crazy, but I watched him F five the big show. I've seen him F five the great Kali. You know what I mean? Like do it off the top rope. <laughs> bruh. That would be crazy. <laughs> Break the whole ring. <laughs> I mean he, Brock Lesnar is a ring breaker. We've seen it. We've seen him do it. <laughs> I'm saying break the ring. It was what a truck yeah. though. <laughs> He'll break But there's I don't think there's no there's no way. Brock Lesnar's taking the L here. No, the, the, I think he might have took the L to break. They probably didn't. Hey, bro, I took too many L's this year. He took the he took <laughs> the, the he took the L to Bobby Lashley by DQ yes. for, by kicking him in the balls. So. And he lost to him fair and square with another one. So Brock, Bobby is two and one again. Yep. Uh, Bianca versus Oscar. When I believe a sleeper match, Oscar wins. I think Bianca has nowhere to go, so she had to lose and have some little bit. Yeah, Oscar's got a. I mean, Bianca's got to lose so you can freshen up her character. Let her take some time away. Let her take a little bit of time away. Let their TV show or whatever come out right off of that. Then you start her in a new story as it's coinciding with the TV show. Boom, bumping ratings, bumping momentum, all that jazz. They say that we got a lot of plans for people after WrestleMania, but they wanted to finish a bunch of storylines so they didn't focus on nobody, which is... uh, But it's good that they're actually finishing the stories, though. That's what I'm... Which hurt the women's division because they didn't have no stories going into it. (laughs) So the women's division has been hurt. But a lot of... If you look dumb, Ray, Finn, Edge, all these stories finally getting finished. So... yeah. Um, the bloodline, yeah. So all these stories getting finished. Speaking of the bloodline, the Usos and that's Seth. think that's the think that's literally the theme of Wrestle the theme the theme of WrestleMania this year is finish the story. Yeah. That's why Cody came back. Remember yeah. that was his tagline. He came to finish the story. Yeah. The the belt they took from his daddy in the garden. Yeah. Next up, we had the Usos versus Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn KO is Kevin Owens. Steen and Generico got to take it. You know what I'm saying. And then oh, Tor. Next Monday, they have some kind of match. You see, um, they have a match with primetime players, and then the next Monday, I mean, I said primetime players. <laughs> I, was, I was, I was like primetime players, street profits. I don't know what you said. Oh, that's crazy. 
That's crazy. That? Though, Listen, man. Vince been in my <laughs> I guess so. Hey, Vince, I, I look at Rich like Vince. How are you of all people just out here generalizing <laughs> black tag teams? Nigga, damn. Listen, they all go. Prime time players <laughs> over the street, Vince, instead of the street profits. That's, them shits don't even sound the same, nigga. But I, man, I think, and then the next week, DIY show up. The revival right. show up. I'm so ready. <laughs> But wait, has been show up. Bit, Champ has been out on injury. Yeah. I do believe. Man, I hope he he's had his handful of injuries, but man, I think bruh getting DIY in this tag team division they have right Kevin now. Owen, Sammy, if you can get next level. We'll learn next Wednesday if FTR we'll learn on the fifth if FTR is going away or not. Yeah, because if they if they lose we can get that. We can get the rematch. Like I see people talk about it, but I don't know how many people actually. Because I remember, I remember spending the money because I had let my freaking WWE Network payment lapse that month for whatever reason. But I remember spending the money specifically to watch that takeover of FTR versus DIY, and it's one of the best tag team matches ever, in my opinion. Period. Dot. And I stand on that. I didn't say it's the best. I'm saying it is one of the best tag team matches ever in wrestling. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, I think the Sami Zayn Kevin Owens because it leads to the overall story. Charlotte, yeah, this, this is going to be amazing because think about how long it's been since we've actually seen Sammy and KO in a freaking tag team setting like them actually having some time to go out because like bruh steen and generico versus the briscoes and ring of honor back in the day banger steen and generico versus the freaking young bucks banger steen and generico versus red dragon banger like are we about to get one of those I, I well spoiler alert people yes we are about to get one of those i'm telling you right now steen and generico versus the fucking usos banger that's true. Um, but yes, yeah, Steen and Generico take it. We have Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair. Rhea got a win. Charlotte got the dub over for the women's for the NXT women's it's time to build a future too. So it's time for yeah, you gotta. It's t- and and that's not to take anything away from the four horse women. They're still out here going strong, freaking. Um, Sasha Banks going to be uh, in a triple threat against AZM and freaking uh, – man, I can't remember the other girl's name. But I just wanted to see Sasha – I mean, Mercedes Monet versus AZM. But hopefully the other girl they're adding in is dope too. Yeah, I think Rhea runs. I think she needs yeah, it. Yeah, Rhea's got – bro. And it's going to be – that's how they cement her as the true leader of the Judgment Day too, bro. When she's the only one there with gold. You know what I mean? But I think it's I think it's going to be sort of a split up. I think the Judgment Day win all their matches, in my opinion, as we've seen so far. And I think the Bloodline will lose all theirs. So you'll have the faces coming out on top on the Bloodline side, and then you'll still have a good mix of the heels coming out on top with Judgment Day winning their matches. I feel like everything else in there, for the most part, is just kind of filler between those two stories. You know what I mean? True. Um, last but not least, Cody Rhodes, does he finish the story against Roman Reigns or does he hit a thousand? Cause that's the best it is. He's either hitting a thousand or he's losing at WrestleMania. I think uh I think Cody's gotta win, but crazier things have happened, maybe. But uh, the, the reason I think I Cody's gonna win is simply because you, Roman ain't mentioned a thousand days at all. Yeah. And I think he wants Not to do a one. movie. So I think he's, I think he's going to do a movie. Think, I think it's smart because you don't want to risk it getting stale. Yeah. I mean, it's been three years. It's been an amazing run. There's minimal things that can be said about it, honestly, unless you're just like a WWE hater. So, but yeah, I think Cody finishes the story. I think that's the theme for WrestleMania this year. Finish the story. I think the only way you can do it is somehow – I don't know how you make Jade in the Roman storyline last all the way to SummerSlam. I don't know. You, bro, you can't. <laughs> you know what I'm you saying? Because I'm like this. It, it'll, it'll get stale, bro. And I think the Usos deserve some time off too, bro. 
they they're coming up on freaking they well they've already passed record breaking numbers for unified and tag titles. They've had them for five hundred and something days almost. Yeah, so this run has been crazy for the bloodline. Bro, it's been amazing. (laughs) Poor Solo. I mean, I think he's gonna have he's gonna shoot off and do amazing things. But he came in sort of at the midway. Point. He's so he much like his daddy. He, have you watched he added young a daddy? whole lot? Have you? Whole did you lot. watch young Rikisha? Oh yeah, Bro. he remind me so much of young Rikisha. <laughs> I'm not gonna. The head shrinkers. Yeah, he remind me so much of young. The wild Samoans, freaking bro! Have you seen? Do you see in MLW the Samoan SWAT team got the tag titles, but Hammerstone beat Jacob Fatu for the title. I think they only did that because they didn't want it to feel too like, hey, we're trying to rip off the bloodline over here too. Because think <laughs> then it would have been it would have been all their members because the Samoan SWAT team is Juicy Finau and. Uh, one of the one of Rikishi's other sons, or it's Haku's son, one of the two. But anyways, it's Haku's son. Brothers, it? Yeah, Haku. So and Rikishi's then, youngest then, son isn't. He's a. He just now starting. He's starting with Booker yeah, T. Yeah, I was gonna say he's training at freaking Booker, reality wrestling. Yeah, Booker T. But if if Jacob Fatu would have won the belt, that would be kind of crazy. <laughs> Everybody in WrestleMania. The, uh, the other two, like I said, the Samoan SWAT team right now, they've got the MLW tag titles. They just won them. And then Hammerstone and Jacob Fatu had their rematch, which was – I don't know if you watched it yet or not. You should. It was, bruh. Jacob Fatu's so good. I don't know why he's not in the WWE. And it's such – bruh. He's so fucking – Alexander Hammerstone has gotten amazing, too. I don't know what kind of money MLW is paying them, but it's crazy that neither one of them have made it to AEW or WWE. 